Vanessa Pollock from Pollock Properties Group in northern New Jersey, serving all of the towns 30 to 60 minutes outside of New York City. I would love to talk to you about Zoom open houses. When COVID hit our region first and hard back in March and April, our team knew that we needed to keep clients, colleagues, and communities safe. And we also needed to help people still realize their real estate dreams. So we, because our number two source of business was open houses, had to pivot to a completely virtual open house experience. At first, we started doing our Zoom open houses live in a house. And they worked, it was fine, and it was very, very stressful. And then one day I went to do a Zoom open house at one of my listings and the Wi-Fi crashed. And I lost everyone who was watching. Now, thankfully, we have a system that the agent who's conducting the Zoom open house also has a co-pilot. So Kevin from my team was my co-pilot. And as soon as the Wi-Fi crashed and I dropped out, he was still there to answer questions, to jump in, to be sure that everybody had the digital brochure and let them know that I would be reaching out to them and, and just touching base afterwards. But in that moment, we decided to fail forward and make sure that that never happened again. And I decided that for each of our new listings, I would arrive on our professional photography day, but with my iPhone, and I would conduct about a 20 minute walkthrough myself. So I approach each house and I video, I walk through the house, I open closets, I go through every single room of the house. Sometimes they're in five minute chunks, sometimes it's a 15 minute chunk. And I'm silent, I'm not saying anything. And if noise pops up, it's okay, because this movie doesn't need sound. But I go through the entirety of the house, and then on my iPhone, I piece it all together into an iMovie. And from my iPhone, I upload it to my YouTube channel as an unlisted link. Unlisted means that nobody can see it unless they have the link. So if they're searching for homes, they're not going to get this. So then what do I do with it? Well, I start advertising a, a Zoom open house. And we do that through command Facebook ads. We do that through our community newsletter. We do that through our social media. And we start pointing everything towards the Zoom registration page. That's really important because the best way you can remind people of your Zoom open house is to go into Zoom and hit send a reminder to everyone who's registered. And you can do that a few times to be sure that they show up. So the day of the event, I actually sit at my desk in my home office and I bring up that YouTube link to the walkthrough. I put that on my computer. I also put a tab with the digital brochure. I have the seller's disclosure tab open and any other pertinent information that I think might be particularly valuable to somebody attending the open house. And I launched the Zoom. When I launched the Zoom, I'm live, I'm in front of everyone, it's well lit, and it's got tons of Wi-Fi because it's in my house. <laughs> and I know I'm not gonna lose that connection. I introduce myself, I talk about the team, I have my co-pilot still who can man the chat board, and I often have my preferred lender there as well. And he'll put into the chat board how much this house costs, what it would be as a monthly payment with these taxes with 20% down, 10% down, 5% down, and FHA. And he's there to answer questions too. And then I say, okay, everybody, let's start the walkthrough. And I launch the YouTube video and I screen share. And it's on mute and I'm not. And as the walkthrough video plays, I'm able to basically do a live voiceover. They can still see my face, but they're really seeing the walkthrough. And I can talk all about the house as it pertains to the people who are attending the Zoom open house that day. Somebody had an early question about the driveway. I always shoot exterior stuff too. I can go into that more. But maybe they have a question about closet space and I'll spend more time and push pause as we're in front of the closets and talk about that more. But what this does is it just controls the technology environment. 
I know that I'm safe, that I'm not gonna lose Wi-Fi, and that I can push pause and elaborate more as I need to and keep going as I need to. But what it also does is it allows all of your agents to host a Zoom open house from the comfort of their home, the safety of their home. They're not having to go back in and out of this listing half a dozen times to do half a dozen Zoom open houses. So Kevin can show that same walkthrough video. Sherry can show that same walkthrough video. Denise, Julie, Kelly, Mark, DDR, all of our agents, if they want to do their own Zoom open house for a listing, they can using that one walkthrough video. It's lead gen for the whole team. It's keeping our clients safe, our community safe, our colleagues safe, and it blows our sellers' minds that we get to say to them, oh, we're doing eight open houses this weekend, and you only have to leave for the live one on Sunday. Like, it is an extraordinary way to be a fiduciary to your seller and to keep everyone safe. So, I hope this was helpful information for you about Zoom open houses. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, and please be sure to follow us on Instagram at Pollock Properties Group. Bye now.